mode. So, Kuya40 wants me to play Asteroids Deluxe in Arcade Mode! to pat my Snorlax. <laughs> there, <laughs> there is a 1.5 years. Yeah, so I extended it all the way out to two and a half years. I can't remember what I had it unlocked to. What did I do? Hold on, I put it in chat. It goes all the way out to three years now. So, yeah, after one year, it goes in half year increments. All right. Shall we play some Asteroid Deluxe? Oh, let me get the high score real quick. Eleven seven forty is what we're trying to beat. So, um, Kuya, is there a reason you picked Asteroids Deluxe? You're currently at seventeen knots. Uh, well, it all depends on how far it is, Edgy Rose. Skip. <laughs> Oh, I wanted to show everyone. Hold on. Uh, uh, memories. Okay. Uh, so my my little Galaga for my uh for my birthday, I got a little Galaga machine. So I will be putting it up on the shelf somewhere. That's pretty cool. So I haven't taken it out of the box yet. So, but yeah. You are at twenty. Okay. That's that's the pink. Yeah, you have a pink one. <laughs> All right, let me go back to arcade mode. Okay. Okay. Let's play. Let's play asteroids the love. Uh oh. <laughs> it's not moving. So hold on. I did. I had a, my birthday was yesterday. Thirty years wrong, young. <laughs> Don't look a day over twenty. Thank you, thank you. A hundred. Th <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> no, we gotta keep. Uh, uh, you gotta keep going up and up and up. All right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Every 30 seconds. You could do that if you wanted to. All right, let's play now.
Fourteen four twenty. There we go. <laughs> New high score. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, I love coming back to a game and crushing the high score on the first game. All right, let's play it again. Let's do it.
Eighteen one forty. What was it? Eighteen one forty. Yeah. You're almost 20. Congrats, Edgy Rose. That's awesome. The, the next big step is 21. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was only two. You don't want to be an adult. <laughs> it's not all that bad, Edgy Rose. So I turned 50. Five, zero. So that means there's 30 years between us, Edgy Rose. And so uh, my, my advice was to not grow up. Not grow up. Be passionate about the things that you love. Don't be afraid to show what you're passionate about. It's pretty bad, Jason. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there is pressure. I understand. Uh, when I was your age, there was a lot of pressure. I was in the middle of school back then and uh, never thought I was going to finish school. <laughs> Eventually, I did. I, that's definitely what I would say is, you know, try and get an education if you can. It will help you get a better job in the long run. Um, that's, I guess, one of the best. But uh, if you're going to invest in something, invest in your education. So, all right. So that was two games. Let's play the third. That's where you are. There you go. I thought you, that's I thought that's where you were. All right. Let's go. Don't know how to proceed. Well, I mean, I just kept plugging along. Uh, so it took me longer than four years to get a four-year degree. <laughs> just a couple of years. It took me six years to get a four-year degree. So, well, I was also, my, my parents were not very rich. Uh, so I had to actually work and borrow my way through school. So I was usually working 30 hours a week and then uh, doing minimal, uh, like 12-hour uh, semesters which was the minimum you could do to have financial aid. Um, so I borrowed, which I eventually paid off. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that's that's not a bad advice there too, is you gotta want to, but you also have to realize that you're not gonna be able to 
can't live off of minimum wage. It's so hard to. And so you're going to need to get an education in order to get that better job. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Let's play the third game. <laughs> oh well that's a part-time career that, yeah i mean it, it b b being a professor would be awesome one of the downsides for professors you have to have a doctorate right and so um that's that that can be a difficult thing too uh-oh Did I miss my be real? Okay. So be real is is this uh app where uh you <laughs> you post a a picture Or maybe I should have done it at the arcade machine. Let's do that. All right, there we go. <laughs> yep, just take life as it comes. I agree. Now in a desert, two thousand miles from a away from everyone. I understand that. Thought I did. Hold on. Did 
Okay, so I've been using this new app called, um, shit, what is it called? Be Real. And basically, it, it will alert you at a random time during the day, and you're supposed to take a picture of what's in front of you and what's in you, right? And so I just took a picture of arcade mode and myself, so... <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we try one more time? That was uh, eight, I can't believe I got 18,000. That was awesome. I thought I would share this on on my socials. On Twitter's be real exactly. Uh Arcade mode. And you know, it happened during the stream. So, I mean, I have to be real and, and do exactly what it tells me to do, right? <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do if, like, you're, if it says you're, if you're on the toilet and it says, be real. Cause I don't think I would do that in this, in that case. <laughs> I won't do that. <laughs> anyway. All right. Let's play one more. And then we'll get to Pokemon. That's not going to help. Be real. We did pretty good. That was funny, Flaming Baguette. <laughs> and inside you. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Wrong. All right. Let me uh, update the high score. Congrats. 